whenever all hope seems lost, it will reappear to prove that you really have lost nothing, except perhaps your sight to the path of enlightenment. And in the absence of that sight, the star will light your way. Its light is not a blinding flash like the lightning bolt of the tower, but a soft radiating glow that warms and comforts, rather than burning and destroying. You must remember that both of these energies ultimately come from the same place in the sky, from heaven. After the light of the tower destroys the false path you were following, the kinder and gentler light of the star will lead you back to the right path. In terms of symbolism, this card is similar to temperance. There is a figure by a pool with two cups, but while the contents of the cups were mixed with each other in temperance, here they are mixed with the waters of eternal spirit of the divine. When you cannot help yourself, the star tells you to look to the heavens for guidance, or more appropriately, look to the spark of divinity that lies within yourself that you could not see or acknowledge before. Each of us take a little piece of the star deep inside, waiting to cast its light into the world to light the way. This is what Crowley meant when he affirmed that every man and every woman is a star. The star is a card of faith, both in its own power and in powers greater than your own. And when the tower swoops away all the negativity in your life, you once again need something to fill the void. And faith is a good place to start. What exactly is faith? It could be said that faith is a conscious belief in an unconscious experience, of which we may not be directly aware, but of which we can still feel the effects. This definition fits both beliefs in the deity and beliefs in our own ability. Having faith in any power will allow that power to manifest in your life. Believing that something will happen is a sure way, as any, to make it happen. There is a lot of mediative imagery on almost all renditions of the star, although the most interesting symbol on the Rider Waite version of the card is the pool of water at the centre of the scene. On some decks the naked woman is standing in a pool, but in the Rider Waite version she kneels beside it. Notice that her right foot rests on the water, but does not break the surface. Once faith is placed in its power, the pool of the subconscious becomes able to support the conscious mind. The miraculous ability to walk on water is symbolically translated here into the ability to trust in another power, whether in the heavens or in yourself. Once that trust is achieved, anything is possible. There are a few cards more positive than the star, because when it appears in your life, it is nothing less than a beacon of hope and inspiration. In times of darkness, it shows that there is a way out and tells you not to worry. For illumination and freedom are at hand. All you need is something in which to place your faith. So trust in yourself and in whatever powers you believe to control the universe to help you through difficult times. Let the infinity energy of the star warm you and rejuvenate your soul to provide the strength and clarity of purpose you need to continue your journey. It is important to keep in mind, however, the star is never a card that shows the final solution to any problem. It simply shows the hope and faith to get to wherever you're going. Without hope, we can accomplish nothing, but hope is only a beginning. Now that you have been inspired, you still have much work to do in order to bring your vision into manifestation. You must combine the solidity of material existence with the waters of your emotions and your spirit. This is a time where miracles can happen, so kick off your shoes and wade into the pool, confident that the water will support you until you reach the other side.